Hello YouTube and welcome back to Let's Play Bloom Star Defense 5 Dust Edition. In this episode I'm going to try to beat the level again. Uh, not Death Valley, that one I'm still saving for another time, but uh... <sighs> Unfortunately I tried uh, playing again, um, and I lost again. How about that? But uh, let's see. I'm going to buy a couple Bloomberry Bushes because, uh, like I said, I tried beating Drag Strip the next stage and uh, did not do too well. So let's try this again. And uh, I will be using the uh, Bloomberry Bushes as a safety net um, because, yeah, I lost <laughs> pretty much. I, mean, I didn't actually lose, but I could tell that I was losing a lot of lives and I just sort of rage quit. Which I feel like I've been doing a lot more recently, partly because the tracks have been getting a little bit harder, but, uh... Alright, so let's see. I'm not actually sure how well that's going to be placed, but, um... Hmm. Alright, so, uh, you'll see why in a second. Unless you already know the stage, then you already know why. But, uh, let's see. I'm actually... Hmm. I think I'm going to stick with the same strategy that I did last time. I'm just going to try to do it a little bit better. Um... <laughs> So the track, I, I'm pretty sure it's the same track, but like that oil spill, like that's the actual track. And I'm pretty sure it's the same one every time, but for some reason I feel like it's a different splatter for some reason, even though it looks the same. But um, anyways, I'm going to try to at least mostly just use Ninja Monkeys. Um, and of course that one bloom slips through, but uh, the Bloomberry Bush... Uh, is good enough to pop that one balloon, obviously. So, um, in case you don't know, the Bloomberry Bush, the way that works is it's sort of like a road spike that you place down, but instead of going away after each round, it'll actually add five thorns onto the bush, up to a total of 200 bushes, or 200 uh, thorns. So, all together, uh, after, I think, 40 rounds, I'm not sure, um, uh, each bush will have 200 thorns on it, so that it'll be able to pop 200 balloons. Um, it does have camo detection because it's like a rose spike, but it doesn't pop lead, I don't think. So that's pretty tricky. If you, uh, you have, um, obviously, if you have a bloomberry bush, but you don't have any lead popping power, then uh, you're gonna need something because the lead will just wipe wipe right through it. But um, so once it's fully uh, grown, then each side will have 400 thorns, so total it'll be like 800 uh, balloons that I can pop, although this one has popped 34 balloons, which means it's used 34 thorns, um, so it'll be a little bit weaker than the others, uh, which is kind of lame, but eh, it's kind of the price I pay for not having the best defenses or anything. Uh, so yeah, it works basically like a spactory, kind of. A little bit. <laughs> uh, but the Ninja Monkey should be helpful. Uh, it already has camo detection, so that's good. Um, it's able to pop through quite a few balloons, but uh, I do wish it had better attack speed just because I'm dealing with two different paths of balloons. Um, and also, yeah, uh, something you have to worry about is that once they lose all of their thorns, uh, they're still there. They're still, um, you know, towers. They'll still. Uh, Stay there. They'll still regrow the five thorns um, each round, but once they're out of thorns, then the balloons will just walk right by them or float right by them. Um, so I'm throwing this extra ninja monkey in to help out with this top layer because that one was, uh, it's been leaking a few balloons basically into the thorns. So uh, I'm glad I have them, but I feel like I'm not using them to their best, even though that I technically think that using them, like having the balloons leak through and get hit by the thorns would technically be considered using them, but I don't know. Uh, so, uh, let's see, I'm actually going to try to upgrade this uh, to Sharp Shurikens first before I start upgrading the second Ninja Monkey, because I know that it is cost uh, effective to actually just upgrade one Ninja Monkey more rather than building a second one, although because there's two paths, I'm not sure if that actually applies. Uh, I'm not sure because I'm not really dealing with a lot of pierce. I'm just mainly dealing with faster attack rate, or at least that's what I need uh, is faster attack rate. And I'm going with the ninja monkeys rather than the boomerang throwers because um, the ninja monkeys have that uh, what's it called, like a uh, seeking ability from the seeking shuriken, uh, and the glaive ricochet is also good at that, I suppose. But um, uh, I just prefer Ninja Monkeys in this particular area because it starts off with better attack speed than the Boomerang Thrower, I think. 
Um, so that's better, but let's see. Once I get to a double shot, and that'll make it much better. Uh, twice as effective. Um, so yeah, there's that. But uh, what I was thinking about was I wanted a banana farm because I want to get a lot of money early on. Because uh, it's already round 15, and uh, round 28 is the first lead wave. So I need to get some lead popping before round eight or round twenty-eight, uh, which is thirteen rounds from now. Which, eh, it's not really going to be enough because I wanted to use the monkey village and upgrade it to the monkey intelligence bureau to allow the ninjas to be able to pop lead, uh, which makes them really awesome. Because when you have like five or six ninja monkeys upgraded to blue jitsu then that's, uh, if you have five, then that's 25 shuriken that can each pop through four balloons. So that's a hundred layers that you're shaving off each time they attack, and clearly they attack pretty fast, so that's a lot. <laughs> that's, uh, that's pretty good. Um, and even if it didn't have the pierce, if you were just dealing with one Moab, uh, then having that 25 shuriken basically per second, uh, then that only takes like four shots to get rid of an entire Moab, well at least the entire Moab layer, and then the ceramics under it, but the Bloon Jitsu is actually really good against um, ceramics, so that's good, but uh, I guess I do need some lead popping, which uh, actually, hmm, I was thinking of using ice to uh, slow them down, but instead, you know what, I'm going to go with a glue gunner, and that's probably not going to be the best idea. Uh, but I'm going to do it anyways, because <laughs> um, it'll help with the lead popping, which is what I need uh, some help on. Uh, and then, as far as camo, I've already got the ninja monkey, so they're already good with camo. And um, I guess the biggest problem would be the camo lead that appeared later on, but hopefully I'll have enough money by then for a monkey village that will have the monkey intelligence bureau uh, to allow the ninja monkeys to get the camo lead. Um, so right now I'm just going to soak the glue gunner uh, to help out with these current lead and a lot of blooms are leaking through for this uh, beginning part and eh, I'm going to wait for the bloom jitsu rather than uh, upgrade the second bloom or the second ninja monkey which is probably not a good idea but it'll work I suppose uh, for now and uh, now on this lead round uh, I don't need to upgrade to glue splatter because the leads are pretty far spaced apart uh, pretty, they're spaced apart pretty far, <laughs> um, so I don't need to worry about that uh, that area of effect, I guess, on the glue gunner upgrade. Uh, and now that I've got blue jitsu, hopefully that makes that ninja monkey a lot better. <laughs> um, and now it's just another lead round, uh, which isn't too much of a problem because of the glue gunner. Uh, and I'm placing him closer to the beginning of the track so that he's able to pop the balloons um, a little bit sooner. But I don't want to place him directly, like right at the beginning of the track, because then uh, less of the track is within his range if he's like right up to it, because then it kind of halves his range, if you think about it like that. Uh, so here I'm just going to get the second uh, Bloon Jitsu Monkey, and hopefully uh, I don't have to worry about any other lead, although I do remember uh, the reason why I don't usually use snipers for lead detection or lead popping is because of when there's uh, things like that, where it's... Ah, uh, dang it. Uh, that's not good. Because um, that lead got through... Uh, good thing those thorns are as good as they are, but um, I'm actually going to sell the glue gunner now. Uh, let's see, that probably was not a good idea, because... Uh, let's see, going to sell that. Uh, place that there, and that's not going to be enough. Great, uh, let's see, I guess then I'll try using a Monkey Apprentice, because I did find out that uh, they do have uh, lead popping even at their basic attacks, so that's good, and then the fireball is just a helpful area of effect. Um, Alright, so I actually set them the strongest, uh, not really sure why, but uh, should be helpful, and let's see. Mm. I really want to get to the Monkey Intelligence Bureau as fast as I can, so I don't want to worry about the uh, extra range or jungle drums uh, upgrades. So, and I also don't need camo detection because the uh, Blue Jitsu Monkey is good enough for all the camo needs. And then, if not, I can always use this Bloomberry Bush, which, as you can see, oh man, I'm I'm leaking a couple on down the bottom. But uh, this Bloomberry Bush is 
totally set. <laughs> it has plenty. But, um, you know what? I'm actually going to sell that again. And I'm going to sell that uh, for the moment. Um, and actually, let's see. If I give it radar scanner so that it allows camo detection, and give this the super monkey with extra range, then it should have a fast enough attack rate eh, to be okay. It's <laughs> Obviously, it did leak a couple. Um, hmm, dang it. So, uh, extra range would be nice, but I, wow, that was a lot of lives that I just lost. Uh, okay, so I'm not going to use a super monkey. <laughs> Uh, let's see if I can get. Ah, uh, but I need that lead. All right, this is. Mm, that's not gonna be enough. All right, let's try the boomerang thrower. Uh, should be good as a bionic boomer. Uh, now it has camel detection, so that's good. And wanted to use uh, ninjas, but I guess I probably shouldn't because uh, the boomerang throwers are gonna be better. Uh, then the ninja just they have the faster attack rate and double ranga and the arc and all that so and I really want to use ninjas but maybe later on I'll have enough money uh, saved up in order to switch over to that um, to that strategy but I guess for right now I probably should have started with boomerang throwers because uh, ninja monkeys are good at the beginning but uh, they do have a low ceiling so you can buy more of them which means that uh, it's going to cost more money is why a banana farm would have been great. Uh, I did use a banana farm in the last one, but I didn't. But on these harder stages, it's harder to get a good defense to set you up to be able to build up your banana farm early on, which I'll discuss in other videos, but gah, just frustrating to not be able to use the strategy that I want, or at least not know how to use it correctly. Um, so these three boomerang throwers, I, I should have just stuck with them in the beginning, because clearly they're uh, good enough, especially with the double ring guide deluxe upgrade. Uh, very powerful. So yeah, and uh, this blueberry bush, the top side is, it's set, it's good. I mean, obviously it's still possible for um, for that to get popped through, I guess. <laughs> but then the bottom uh, still needs some work, because uh, it did take quite a few hits uh, from the balloons, and I did leak quite a few lives, but not too many. And alright, so now we're getting into the ceramic, which means that I am going to bring back uh, a ninja monkey. Uh, to help deal with the ceramic, because the distraction ability is very useful for the ceramic uh, balloons, especially when you have blue jitsu. Um, the boomerang throwers, I feel like their main weakness is uh, ceramics and um, moabs, or blimps, moab class balloons. So, yeah, those are their weaknesses, but um, let's see, once we get blue jitsu, there we go, and then money intelligence bureau, that's still pretty expensive. I don't think I'll be able to uh, use my pure ninja monkey strategy uh, very well. I might be able to do it later on, but uh, no time soon. Because uh, obviously I'm really depending on these uh, boomerang throwers. And uh, let's see, because they only cost 2,320, so it's only about uh, 7,000 um, if I sell them all. And then that's extra 4,300, so I'd still have about 3,000. 2,800. That's only going to buy about half of a Bloom Jutsu Monkey, and I don't think two Bloom Jutsu Monkeys are enough to pop all this. So doing the math on that, um, it would not be a good idea. Well, actually, I actually have 4,000, so hmm, still shouldn't. <laughs> I still should wait until I have more money. Um, this is round 45, so that means I could buy another Bloom Jutsu Monkey, and technically I know that there's no lead I mean, there's, a, there's lead at the end of this round, so I shouldn't buy it yet, but, uh, actually, hold on. Let's move this down a little bit, uh, just a tiny bit to make sure I have as much room as I can, uh, to try to fit three, uh, Bloom Jitsu monkeys on that side. And, uh, I don't need to worry about all these pink blooms at the moment. Uh, can I fit three or four? Looks like I might be able to fit four. Uh, but let's see. Place that there just to see if I have enough room. Oh wow, I do have enough room for four right there. Alright, so I'm gonna sell these because right now it's just gonna be the uh, uh, the Moab. So that's kind of lame. I don't have enough for that, but let's see. Is that enough? I really should have saved. Wow. Alright, so half the ceramics got through and were able to pop through my uh, thorns. 
my blueberry bush, which actually put me over, so now, without triple uh, lives, I would have lost. And I really hope there's no lead on this round, <laughs> and I really hope that I'm able to, wow, defend against all these blooms. I actually leaked quite a few. Um, hmm. Well, that's lame. Apparently boomerang throwers are better <laughs> on that side, and I really should have saved, because uh, there might be some lead here that I might not be able to get rid of. But uh, I should switch back, because I know that there are going to be lead before round 50. Um, I do remember that much. Because these few rounds between round 46 and 50, generally I don't really pay much attention to them, because once I'm able to pop the Moab easily, I sort of just sort of... Or I sort of just sort of, but uh, I kind of stop paying attention to my defenses, and I think, oh, if we can beat a Moab, then it'll defeat these rounds for sure, but it's not always the case. Uh, so this may actually end up being a bad idea. Probably a bad idea. Let's see, I'm actually going to use Bomb Towers uh, as a Moab Mauler uh, to help out with that uh, Blimp layer and to help out with any leads that appear. And these I can set to Strongest, and what I was going to say earlier, uh, that I don't think I actually finished my thought on, um, when dealing with leads, if you're using a Glue Gunner and or a Sniper, um, if you set them to Strongest, to deal with the leads. For a while, the leads will be the strongest blue, so that's fine. Uh, they'll target the leads and be able to pop them fine and everything. But eventually, with the, um, with the, uh, what's it called? With the, uh, uh, the zebra balloons and the ceramic balloons and rainbow balloons and all that, um, ah, oh, dang, I'm still losing lives on the bottom, but, uh, Eventually, you're going to get to a point where the lead looms aren't the strongest anymore, so if you have your glue gunners or snipers targeting towards strongest, then they're not really going to be focusing too much on the actual lead, um, which will obviously be bad. <laughs> uh, so, uh, this is bad, because I still don't have a good enough uh, Moab defense, so I need to place a few more uh, Moab Maulers uh, to help out with that. Because it's almost there. I've almost got enough uh, Moab defense, but I still need a couple more. But anyways, um, so if you set it to strongest, then eventually they're not going to be targeting the lead, so you need a better strategy for that. Unless you have like the blue splatter, because that just be pretty good at getting lead. Um, but anyways, then uh, there's also what am I doing? Uh, one ninjas uh, to fill out my defense, but. Um, Right, uh, <laughs> snipers and uh, glue gunners, um, if you set them to first on their targeting, then they're definitely not going to be specifically targeted with leads. Um, so you really need something else like a bomb tower, uh, monkey apprentice. Uh, ice towers are actually kind of good at lead popping uh, if you use them right. Uh, so you, if you get the monkey intelligence bureau, then the ninja monkeys can actually pop lead. Um, good, and what else? Uh, Dartling guns can pop lead, spike factories can pop lead, mortars pop lead. Uh, I don't think monkey engineers are able to pop lead uh, via upgrade. Uh, super monkeys, of course, uh, when they're upgraded high enough. Monkey buccaneers can pop lead. So yeah, there's plenty of options other than um, other than snipers and uh, glue gunners, which is why they're usually not the first pick for uh, lead popping, I suppose. But they both have their strengths. Um, snipers are pretty good against Moabs, but I prefer the Moab Ballers now just because of uh, really recognizing how good they are against Moabs. Um, and of course, uh, Ninja Monkeys are a good uh, support to that defense uh, because they're able to pop uh, multiple Moabs. Um, because that is one of the problems with snipers, is that they're really good at destroying one high tier balloon. But if you have multiple Moabs, then it's a little harder for the snipers to deal with them, while the Moab Maulers and the Ninja Monkeys uh, are able to pop multiple because the Moab has the area of effect explosion uh, type of attack, so the, uh, any close by Moabs will also get uh, attacked by the Moab Maulers. And then the Ninja Monkeys have their uh, Bloom Jitsu, which also pierces through, so uh, they can essentially take out four Moabs as efficiently as they can take out one, um, as far as the actual Moab layer. Once it gets into ceramics, you have a bit more of a problem, but the Jitsu Monkeys and uh, Moab Ballers are still pretty good at that. Right, and uh, again, to address anyone that's like, oh, you should use this tower more often, 
or that other tower more often. As I'm getting into these harder levels, um, as episodes progress and all that, uh, obviously it is a little bit harder, so it kind of gets rid of the room for my flexible big wiggle room, I guess, for uh, experimentation with other um, with other towers. And I know that a lot of people say that dartling guns are good for the multiple path levels because then you can just move your mouse and have them shoot the different paths. But for me, that's kind of a downside because um, specifically because I'm always doing it on fast forward. Um, I don't always have the best aim <laughs> using the dartling gun, which of course to me it's like, oh well then just not put it on fast forward and have better aim, but then also, you know, this, I can't keep this video going for like 40 minutes if I'm not going to put it on fast forward. Um, it's just not going to happen, but uh, <laughs> alright, so I kind of did this defense a little weird with uh, the one Moab Mauler in the way of these ninja monkeys, but uh, oh well, this is around 62, alright, so 63 is next. With the Sprammer Clumps. God, I'm not really sure if I'm going to be able to do that very well. Uh, so I'm going to save right now, because I don't know how well I'm going to do against the Sprammer Clumps. I think the Ninja Monkeys will be good enough, but clearly they are not. So, I'm going to need to change up my defenses. <laughs> Alright, good thing I saved. I'm really glad I thought to save right before then. Alright, so this is round 62. I'm actually going to sell the Mod Ballers uh, for right now. And that's probably still not going to be enough. Alright. Um, get this ice tower here with a viral frost. And let's see, do I have enough to uh, afford another viral frost? I do not. So, I'm going to sell. And I'm going to sell one. Uh, let's see. I do still need Moab Maulers, so I'm actually going to sell this second line of ninja monkeys. And then just build more Moab Maulers here. So, let's see if I can uh, redistribute my money well enough uh, to get this down right. Because I know that there's uh, Moabs, there's plenty of Moabs uh, coming up on the next round, so I need to be sure that I have enough of that. Um, and the ice uh, isn't really a problem right now because, or like the frozen balloons, because normally the ninja monkeys uh, wouldn't be able to pop through. Um, frozen balloons, but because I have the Monkey Intelligence Bureau, can I not place one? Is there not enough room right here? Alright. That's kind of lame. I, okay, that's going to bug me. I'm going to need <laughs> to make room for this uh, third bomb tower because, let's see, uh, I just get, I tend to be OCD about these things. Uh, I'm seeing all the towers really close together and all that, but anyways, um, normally the uh, Ninja Monkeys won't be able to pop uh, Frozen Blooms, but with the uh, Monkey Intelligence Bureau they are able to. And these Ice Towers are very useful against the Ceramic Clumps because it slows down the Blooms in general uh, to help the other towers uh, pop them easier. And then also the freezing effect stops them for a while, which also increases the amount of time that the other towers have to pop them. And it actually pops a layer every time it freezes them, so having those two Ice Towers is really helpful with the Ceramic Clumps. However, right now, there's just going to be a bunch of um, a bunch of Moabs on this wave, so I'm actually going to get the Robo Monkey as an assistance um, to my other defenses. And uh, wow, so <laughs> that's actually probably not going to be enough. Uh, well, yeah, I leaked a couple. Wow, I did leak quite a few lives. <sighs> so now. Uh, I don't want to do this, but no. Okay, I won't. I won't go back. But, um, I wanted to go back before round 62. Uh, you know, I will. Uh, after, I'm gonna beat round 65 like this with my Super Monkey. I'm sure it'll be enough. But, um, after I beat it, I'm gonna go back and see if I can do it without losing lives on that part. Because I should have been able to do that, uh, without losing lives. So, i to redistribute my defenses again. Because uh, there's a bunch of uh, Mohabs on that level, or on that wave, obviously, so let's see. I guess I could use some ice... I could just move the ice towers back a little bit, because it does take some time for the Moab layer to actually get popped. So, hmm. I don't know. Or I could just redistribute all these Moab Mauler towers uh, into Ninja Monkeys, see if that helps. I'm trying to get Plasma Blast as soon as I can. I uh, barely have enough time to get the money for that. Uh, so, huzzah, I technically won, uh, but I'm actually, like I said, going to go back 
uh, to round 62, redistribute uh, my stuff. I should have saved after I redistributed everything. Uh, let's see. Redistribute that. Redistribute or uh, sell all this. Come on. All right. Uh, so now get these two ice towers here uh, as Arctic winds. Did I, was I saying viral frost earlier? I think I meant Arctic wind. I don't remember. Uh, let's see. And then just place this there. Look for blah, just like I did last time. Come on. There we go. Um, let's see, because I really want to do this without uh, losing lives. Because I really feel like I should have been able to do that without losing lives. Not the entire map, but um, just these last few rounds. Uh, because I do have plenty of money that I have to redistribute. Um, into my different towers. And again, if any of you don't know, I have Monkey Tycoon, the uh, deluxe upgrade, which is why I'm able to just sell and replace uh, different towers and, like I said, redistribute my money. Uh, because with Monkey Tycoon, you sell towers for the exact amount that you bought them for, so you're not losing any money by selling and moving them. Um, so, alright, so once this round is over, then I'll just save and try to figure out what my next plan is. Uh, well, the Monkey Ace would actually be kind of nice, but uh, that would only be if I got it up to a Spectre, which I don't really have too much money for. I'm going to save, obviously, right now, and I'll see if I can get... Uh, or if, uh, yeah, I can only build one more Moab Mauler. Uh, let's see if that one Moab Mauler is enough, and with these Ice Towers, if that's enough to save it. And kind of, yeah. I guess that was enough. Okay, so I guess I should have just saved my defense the way it was right now. Hmm. That's interesting. Uh, I didn't think that was going to be enough. But apparently I should have had more faith in my defenses. <laughs> uh, let's see. I'm going to build a monkey ace just for the fun of it. Uh, it that way. And not going to have enough for never miss targeting. At least I don't think so. Uh, let's see. Probably not. Uh, who knows? <laughs> I mean, someone probably knows, but... Yeah, I'm probably going to have enough for the uh, never miss targeting, which is just going to be a nice little support uh, to my other defenses. So, yeah, apparently that's how you do that little wave without losing uh, lives, is to have apparently seven Moab Maulers, four Blue Jitsu Monkeys, and two Arctic Wind Ice Towers with a Monkey Intelligence Bureau with Jungle Drums, and then just for add support to Monkey Ace. Uh, so apparently that's enough. Well, that ceramic almost got through, but apparently not. Alright, so yay, that's how you do it. Huzzah and stuff. And uh, for the next one, I'm gonna turn on Big Blue Sabotage. Let me know in the comments if you want me to turn it off before I record the next episode. Um, and that's gonna be it for this episode, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.